And we're going to start you out with this fantastic, super interesting thing over here. What is this, Similk? Oh, this is a great translation mm -hmm. movement. We love them so much. What they do is they're Chinese people that go out and translate what is on the Chinese internet. Mm -hmm. um, and they do it to, you know... Raise awareness. Raise awareness for what is people are actually saying in China because it's kind of unfair. There's an ecosystem, an intranet in China, mm -hmm. and it's not portrayed to the rest of the world. Yeah, I mean, just think about it. Imagine you um, have a group of friends and they can all speak a different language from you, right? Yeah. And they speak to you in English most of the time, but then occasionally they'll sit in the corner there and they'll talk amongst themselves in French or something, which you can't understand. Yeah. And they're just saying bad things about you all the time. But then sure. when they speak to you face to face, they're saying nice things. Oh, we like you so much. But in the corner, they keep saying that piece of shit. How can we steal from him, et cetera, yes. et cetera. So it's kind of like having uh, one of your own friends overhearing what they're saying and telling you what they're saying. Yeah. And that's what the translation movement does, because all of these things that they translate on the Chinese Internet are out there. They're yeah. endorsed because on the Chinese Internet, it's so controlled. If something is allowed to be there, that means the Chinese government approves of it That's and endorses correct. it. So in this uh, post by the Great Translation Movement, we can see that in Xiao Hongshu, which is Little Red Book, it's an app for Chinese people living abroad. Yeah, um, It's kind of its own ecosystem. I would kind of compare it to Instagram for imagine yeah. Chinese people living in different countries. Yes. Uh, but it's a mainland Chinese app, so it's mm. still controlled by the government in China. So yeah. it's a way to make, it's a really clever, it's a way to make a force an ecosystem on Chinese people so that they don't integrate with societies abroad. Yeah. So that they stay within that ecosystem so that it's still censored and controlled. Yeah. When you looked uh, up, you know, remember that the alleged purge of Hu Jintao? Yes. When he was removed from the 20th Party Congress? Yes. If you're on Xiao Hongshu, if you looked for Hu Jintao, it came up with nothing. They blocked out. Yeah. It, 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 you got to understand how crazy that is. It's the last leader of China. Yeah. It's the last one before she's the previous uh, leader. Yeah. It'd be like looking up, it'd be like Googling Obama or Trump. Trump. It'd be it'd like be Googling like, Trump and nothing comes up. And it's like, eh, oh, sorry, there's no information <laughs> available. Can you imagine that? Yeah, right? crazy. Now, uh, if you look, looked up uh, Jiang Zemin, which is the leader before him, all it came up with was some nonsense articles that were barely related. Yes. Right? But, yeah, which you can see behind us. That's yeah. what's up here on the screen is the, the, the blank returns and the, and then the nonsense, nonsense returns. returns. Look up Xi Jinping and you just get, of course, Inundated. full on everything about Xi Jinping. Yeah, so Little Red Book has censored successfully about the purge, which, again, I want you guys to understand this alleged purge that's going on about how Hu Jintao was removed from the party congress. You got to keep in mind what, China, uh, what China's response was. Yes. And that's what we're going to be going into is why, why did China do what they did if they're actually just denying that it was a purge? Yeah. You know? Yeah. If they're actively denying that, why are they doing that? We'll go through some symptoms of why we think that might be a little suspicious. For sure. And that's so, one of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a little joke about uh, why Hu Jintao was kicked out. He for... was removed for rolling the worst joint ever, as you can see. Uh, I can see why that would be an issue. You can see how bad that is. You're not going anywhere with that one. Yeah, exactly. Now, remember, we told you in our special report, which we you know, put out on Saturday, uh, when this actually happened, we told you that the Chinese kind of response, not to the people in China, but to the outside world, was that Hu Jintao was suffering from some kind of medical problem. Yeah. And so he had to rest and they just took him off to the side. By the way, some tankies got it very wrong. <clears throat> they were posting that he then was let back in to yeah. vote later, but he wasn't. No. He wasn't let back in. So they were all no. like, oh, you guys are just trying to smear China, that kind of nonsense. He was let back in. He wasn't let back in. No. He got taken away. Hasn't been seen since. No. Okay. Um, and anyway, the whole point is that... Um, they were telling the rest of the world that, hey, listen, he had a medical issue, and that's why he was ushered out, which is not true if you go through the footage and analyze it. But anyway, what happened was immediately you had, and we're playing them in the background now. This, Thousands. This, let's just read this one so people can yeah. see what, what it says here. What does it say? It says, the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China closed. Former General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, uh, Hu Jintao, was taken away by the venue, of the, by the service staff, due to poor health and rested after returning to the scene to vote. Yes. Which is wrong. It's wrong. It's false. He, wa he did not return to the scene to vote. Okay? No, but what's the most important thing about this? The important thing about this is that this misinformation, which is here, which is clearly misinformation because it's wrong, mm -hmm. was then posted by thousands and thousands of bot accounts, which we're going to show you now in the background. We're going to show you very briefly. We'll let it run. Um, let me actually take it back to the beginning so you can see. Uh, this is what the Chinese Communist Party does. I'm going to look at this one, for instance. 
Usman Yusuf. When was it made? Is it joined 2016? If you go to some of these accounts, they haven't posted anything. So they so hijack old they hijack accounts. Hijack old accounts. Or they just make new ones, like this one, joined in May 2022. Yep. It's got one follower. Yep. Um, and what they do is, these. what you're seeing is they posting the exact same thing. So the whole point of this is that these fake accounts that you're seeing here have exactly the same text, copy yep. and pasted, yes. than the, uh, as the one we first read out to you. So what they were doing was trying to spread this message out as far and as wide as possible using fake accounts, yep. which kind of proves... Hmm. That there's something afoot. Hmm. Because why would you do that? I mean, let's just let's we'll just look point, at some of right? these accounts. You know, they're just tiny bot little accounts. bot accounts. Yeah. Absolutely not real accounts, either yeah. co-opted or brand new. October 2022. These ones here, October 2022. Yeah, they've just joined October 2022. Yeah, what we're showing you like the accounts, and then we're showing you the posts that they made, the which is the post. exact same post, right? Yeah. 2022, 2022, October 22, okay, October 2022. This October is thousands, 2022. by the way. Oh, yeah, thousands there were thousands of, of these. these things. Uh, and it just goes again to, to show you the nasty way the Chinese government takes advantage of Western social media. Yeah. Not only Twitter, but YouTube specifically and Facebook and every other Western social media is clearly used in underhanded ways to push Chinese government narratives. Why are people like? I'd like to know. I want to. Mm -hmm. I want to hear more from like some really good media outlets, like BBC and, yeah. BBC and stuff that covered the the purge. Yeah. Um. I want to see follow ups from them with this because it shows to me very clear intent when you have thousands and thousands of accounts, thousands of accounts, not just posts. Yeah. Thousands of accounts that are posting this verbatim clear message that the government wants everyone to think. Yes. Why? Like, why is no one talking about that? It's it's quite clear that they're trying to misguide the public because it's yes. it's a it's put out by the government and it's a lie. Yes, it's and, it's a proven lie. And this is the one that the tankies were running with as yeah. well. They were taking this and saying, "See, he went back to vote. He did." What what does that show you? There's a directive telling people that work on behalf of spreading the Chinese government's message that there is a narrative to put out, and this is the narrative. If you saw tankies doing this, it matches exactly up with this misinformation campaign with correct, thousands of Twitter correct. accounts. Yeah. So it's just Chinese government misinformation again. Like I said, Twitter being taken advantage of. Um, uh, Elon Musk, uh, are you going to do something about this? I'm just, I'm afraid that he's going to I'm so worried. go the other way and allow I'm this so just to continue, but even more. <laughs>